So, it's me, your little boy, Iki Samson. I have something special for us today. You know, your accent is the reason for what? For the downfall. The beginning of your accent is the beginning of the downfall. <laughs> yes, believe me, choosing once to tell you how powerful, how important, how marvelous, how legit your present is, the kind of authority you carry. You know, let me just be real with us. Sometimes many of us don't know what we carry because it's always around us. You know, uh, the truth is this. You may not value the, the role of a, of a dog in your house until the dog is no more. What do I mean is this. If you have a dog who always do what? Protect you, you know, back anytime, maybe in the night. Like those days that we have a dog. My dad used to have a dog that is up to 12. <laughs> you know, nobody come to our house those days without knocking. If you want to come to our house, some people will do what? Even my, my mom's sister, anytime she is coming to our house, you know, there's no phone then. She do used to strength from the road because my dad compound was so big that the entrance, before you reach our house, you maybe the entrance is here. Before you enter the main house, it will be like three pole like this. One, two, three. Before you reach where our some people will, will stay in the road. Shout, Mama Samson, Mama Samson. Because our dog, we train them. Some some stay in what in the door. That is in the entrance. Two will stay in the entrance or three. Some will stay in the second door. They do eat it like that. Some will stay in the house. And there are those who protect our food. You know what I'm saying? And those who protect our food don't allow others to come to the kitchen because they have their places. So nobody enter our house by mistake because before you enter, before you pass the second third, <laughs> you have story to do or to tell. So what do I mean is this? There was a day that I don't know what happened. There's a sickness come like that. We lost a lot of our dogs. Many dogs, you know, died. So after that, there's something that happened. They come to steal in our house. Nobody, no thief have ever come. But the moment, I don't know who gives them information that, that we don't have dog. The moment the dog, all of them, you know, is there, is gone. We start to have an encounter of thief, you know, coming to our house to thief. Then I do used to ask, those days I do used to ask my dad, <laughs> if perpetual they meet us in the house, who will be what? Who will act like the dog? What I mean is this, many people never believe that your prison is the reason why they were doing great. But believe me, that's why I always tell you choosing words, hold on on that you're consistent doing. Because many people will never believe whom you are until you do what you should off life. You know, what do I mean is it? You know, in Nigeria, there's what we call off and on. It's not like here in Europe, you know what I'm saying? When I was in Nigeria, if they bring light, it's just like <laughs> Papa, Papa Christmas. It's not Mother Christmas again. Father Christmas, no. It's Papa Christmas. We call it those when I was a, I was a kid. We used to sing it. <laughs> my, my, my mom used to use, anytime they bring light, you see it. Eh, never don't bring light. Never have bring light. We will shout. Before you know, 30 minutes is gone. Imagine Ni Nigeria that give light to Ghana is still celebrating, is still shouting for light. <laughs> God, deliverance will never do or stop going on. <laughs> so what do I mean is this. Your accent is the reason why they are going down. So many people have fully come to do what realize the word the power that you carry many people up there have fully come to do what actualize the grace the authority you have within you because of the fact that you are no longer what around them because of the fact that your present is no longer what with them so they lost the goal in trying to do what in trying to treat you the way they feel like so many people up there are frustrated. They are intimidated. When I mean intimidated, everything about you now annoy them. Everything about you now intimidate them. It frustrates them. Because all their expectation 
all their thought, all their belief, all their mindset, all that they have been hoping for, all that they have been expecting, is not accurately what they are seeing. So many of them, the reason why they do it, they started to treat you the way they never, you know, there's something that I tell, you know, well, uh, uh, one of my friends, there's something that I, I tell her, I said, you know, there is someone who will come in your life. If you can sit down, you come to realize that there is a reason why people come into your life. Everyone, nobody come into your life by mistake. And no one is permitted to enter into your life, live without you having a lesson or learning something from them. You know, there is one of my friends whom I do used to, you know, mingle with, you know, go around with. But anytime I make call with this, that was when I enter mostly here in Italy. Anytime I make call with him, tell him what I'm about to do, the next thing the turn was shattered. When, when the thing happened two, three times, because there was a day, there was a lady that promised me that he's going to help me, you know, when my mom was not feeling fine. So she promised me something. So after a word, I made a, you know, I made a call with one of my friends. Telling her how things is that someone you know, someone did all those stuff. The next thing, everything started. Even when I was in dream, it was revealed to me what happened. What am I trying to say is this: there are some categories of people who will come into your life. Not that they just come by mistake. It is God that directs them. So if you don't treat them the way they want, heaven will treat you the way you expect and the way you don't even think of. You know what I'm saying? So what am I trying to say? A lot of people whom have made up their mind to treat you like nobody, whom their thought was only to take advantage of you, or who, whom their thought was that they are now in that position that they think that they can still be doing well, doing great, you know, doing exploits without you. Many of them are secretly regretting why they ever let you go. Why? Because your accent is now the beginning of their downfall. All our prayer is that we will never get to that point where we will start to go down. That every day we will be amount for something, doing exploits, doing great things, expanding in all we do. But believe me, many people are, are secretly regretting all that they have did. Many people up there are secretly what, frustrated because all that they made for evil, all that they have been hoping, expecting, that would destroy you is not ending up for straightening their life. The, the Bible said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. So many people thought was to come into your life to frustrate you, to harm you, but heaven is harming them. Heaven is frustrating all their devices. That's why the Bible said he disappointed the devices of the crafties so that their hands will not perform or carry out their enterprise. So a lot of people mindset was never to see you progress, was never to see you as say. But God in his aim inflates what mercy delivered you. So many people are going down because of your accent. Many people up there are no longer doing. That's why I'm, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Listen, the moment you start to do what you are called to do. Listen, Jesus was announced. And the Bible says it was spread abroad. When Jesus was captured, nobody do what recorded. Or it was not recorded how many what, how many chairs, or how many buildings, or how many furniture, or how many things, or how many nails that Jesus do or did, or how many chairs that Jesus made. It was not because that is not his calling. So as a chosen, all I'm here to tell you, do not leave that your calling. Just because of the fact that people leave you. Because we are living in a life where people will not value what you carry. <laughs> so people will say, ah, I'm not too good. I'm not too good. I'd rather to stay around me again. And they will be doing what? They will be doing shakara. <laughs> because they, they, they expect you to beg them. <laughs> If you, if you don't want to beg me, I will go. <laughs> Not knowing that you are the foundation to their, to their house. 
A house can never build without a foundation. Like those days, my daddy used to tell me, Samson, <laughs> all this one you are the man they had of fish every day. If you come back anytime we are eating, you will be the one. You after eating, after giving you the, the fish again, you will still be expecting the pot of the what the, the, the pot of soup. You will be the one that will lick the pot of the, the, the plate, the remaining one. Because my daddy used to, you know, all those, uh, if you are in Africa, you understand what I mean. All those little pots that they used to cook, you know, after cooking food, you just put food, soup inside a little pot. You boil it, you know, make it, you know, thick. After my father, uh, the, uh, the moment my father arrived at home, even if I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not hungry, hungry uh, you know, you understand, it's that. <laughs> After my dad, my dad was just coming, he said, come on, carry a plate. I know that. God is marvelous again. He <laughs> is marvelous again. You got what I'm saying? So what am I trying to say? Your accent is the cost of the for. Remember?